been receiving a lot of questions recently about layers and layer management, so we're going to take a quick look at this. We'll make this a really quick video this morning, kind of go over a few concepts. First, we're going to talk about layers as attributes. Second, layers as uh, an element setting. Third, layers as a view setting. And then we're going to go over a quick uh, review of managing layer combinations. So first of all, layers as an attribute. Uh, we can take a look at uh, the layer settings. Um, they're available through uh, the attribute settings here. Uh, and uh, it's basically divided up into layer combinations and layers themselves. The layers themselves are really uh, the, the element setting. The layer combinations are the view settings, as I mentioned. Um, the important thing to note, though, is that these layers and layer combinations, uh, as an attribute, they have a number associated with them. And we can see that if we go to the attribute manager here, and in the layer combinations here, um, there are sorry the layer here there is a, an attribute number for each layer uh, as well as for each layer combination. And why this is important is that uh, it allows us to um, go into the layer settings, and we can actually rename any one of these and make any adjustments. And uh, layers won't show up missing. Layer combinations won't show up missing because they're called to in the program by their attribute number, uh, which is really useful. Um, so that gives us the flexibility to kind of adjust and tweak these layers and layer combinations as we need per project. Um, you can you uh, the the one thing you cannot do is you cannot delete a layer if it's being used without uh, the resulting elements associated with that layer showing up as missing. For example, if I move this uh, wall here to uh, let's just put it on an annotation dimension layer here, for example, uh, and now I go into my layer settings here and I go to my annotation dimension layer. If I delete that and don't remove uh, or reassociate those elements and say delete there and say OK the element shows up as missing. Um, even if I come in here and select all, turn all on, um, the elements on that layer are, are now gone. Um, so it's really important to, if you do delete a layer, that you, um, you either delete and replace or you're a little bit more careful about not deleting layers that are actually being used. Uh, so the next thing to know about layers is uh, that they are an element setting. And we can see that right away if we select an element and we go to the element settings here. Um, we, can, we can place this uh, element on any layer. And virtually everything in ARCHICAD that's placed in the model, in the plan, in any view or viewpoint uh, has a layer that it's placed on. Um, uh, as a view setting, we can, in the view map here, we can take a look at the view settings. Um, there is a layer combination associated with every view that's saved in the view map. Uh, now again, if I go into my layer uh, settings here and I delete a layer combination, it's going to show up with a missing layer combination. Uh, so for example, my uh, A1 building plan, uh, if I delete that from the list, um, now my layer combination here in my view settings uh, shows up as missing because that's been removed. I'm just going to go ahead and reassociate a new layer combination here that I know will work. Uh, and then we're going to look at managing the layer settings. So uh, again, the layer settings, uh, you can get to them in this toolbox. They're also under, uh, it's going to be off screen here, but they're under the options menu for layer settings. Uh, and then they're also down here under the quick options. So you can adjust what layer is visible or what layer combination is, is being applied to the current viewpoint. Uh, it is also important to note that if, for example, I change the layer combination here, um, it doesn't change the layer combination that's applied to that view setting. Uh, so if I double click on that view, um, it goes back to using the original layer combination. So uh, to manage layer combinations, uh, we're going to take a quick look at um, a few things here. So as I mentioned before, the layer combinations are on the left, the layers are on the right. Uh, there's a few things that we need to know about the layers before we get into managing. Uh, the first thing is that uh, there is this column right here, and that is the intersection priority column. Uh, why that's important is that, uh, for example, if we change these ones to, uh, let's go to, uh, to zero, um, anything on those layers are not going to intersect with other things, and we can see that these walls are no longer intersecting. Uh, also notice that when I made that change, my current layer combination for this viewpoint is set to custom, um, because again, I haven't actually affected that change anywhere. Um, so if, for example, I go back to my roof plan here, um, the layers are going to intersect properly. 
Now, if I place, uh, let's place, uh, let's see, the first stair layer here, the trim stair layer. Let's put that on a combination two. Um, and then I'm going to actually put this on that layer. Uh, well, we have to, I guess, make it visible as well. Um, So now we can see uh, this layer is, uh, if I go to my layer settings, is going to be intersection priority two. So it's not going to intersect with these other elements that are on in a layer that's intersection priority one. Uh, but again, if I go back to my view here, um, it'll go back to the original layer combination. Uh, now if I want this to be on the correct layer, again, I want this to be on a wall exterior, I have to actually change which layer is being, uh, which, which layer that element is, is being applied to uh, in its settings. So uh, that's essentially all you need to know about layer visibility is that uh, we can turn layers on and off. Um, now that's not saving any changes here in the layer combination. Uh, again, just to reiterate, if I click OK, we're going to see this show up as custom. Um, now if I want to turn a layer on or off, for example, let's, uh, let's just for example say we don't want uh, the marker section layer to show up on our, on our roof plan. Uh, that's the layer that's being applied here. So uh, marker section, um, I can turn off all of my marker layers here uh, and then click update. Um, now I'm still using the roof plan layer, but my markers aren't visible. So if I go to the, the view, that view, layer combination is still applied to that view, um, but it's been edited so that the uh, marker layers are no longer visible. Now if I want to turn on the elevation markers, um, I can either click here and click update, or I can select the layer here and then turn it on here. Uh, this is actually really helpful for it, uh, adjusting a single layer for multiple layer combinations. So for example, if I want my elevation markers to be visible, on all of these layer combinations, I can make that change in this column. Uh, and then I don't need to click update because I'm directly editing those layer combinations. Uh, so now the elevation markers are visible. Um, alternatively, I can select a single layer and I can turn on or off a whole bunch of things. Um, I can adjust, uh, for example, I can adjust the stairs so that maybe they have a different intersection priority than the walls. Um, but in making the changes to the layer column instead of the layer combinations column, I then have to update that layer uh, and then say OK. So that is essentially all there is to layer management. Um, one last tip here that I want to go over. Uh, so you notice before I deleted the, uh, the A1 um, building plan layer combination, if I want to create a new layer combination, the easiest way to do that is to actually select a layer combination that you know is similar but maybe needs some slight adjustment to the layer combination you want to use. Uh, and then when you click New, um, and let's just add that back in, A1 um, Building Plan. Uh, then I can go through and just adjust the layers that I want to see in that layer combination. But I know to start with at least um, it's, it's close to what I needed to see. Um, so I'm just going to turn on a few layers and click update and now that layer combination uh, can be applied back to the view settings here. Um, A1 uh, uh, building plans is now available. So now that's going to use that layer combination. Um, this view was also using that layer combination uh, even though I've replaced it with um, an identically named uh, layer combination, A1 Building Plans, it still shows as missing. And again, that's important to note that these layers and layer combinations are being called by their attribute number, not by their name. So just replacing uh, a layer or layer combination with an identically named uh, element is not going to suffice to replace it. You have to go back through and uh, reapply any view that was using that missing layer combination. And that's all we have today to go over layers and layer combinations. Uh, until next time, thank you.